lumpy. Needs more mashing. Anyone want a taste? In a second, Strawberry. I've got one more bow to curl. Oh. Anyone here good at uncurling? I would if I could, but I'm wrapped tight myself. This is going to be the best first frost ever. Just wait until I wrap my gift in this. Oh, excuse me, girls. I don't wish to intrude on your get-together. You mean gift together <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, Mr. Longface. Come on in. We're just finishing up making our wrapping paper. And I need to mash the applesauce some more. Oh, if only I had a good masher. Would you like a taste, Mr. Longface? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Shortcake. I don't care for applesauce, sorry to say. Uh, just some tea, please. Here you go. Thank you very much. Ah, perfect. I noticed that the whole town seems to be gearing up for something special today. Do you know what that would be? He doesn't know. It's First Frost. First Frost? Never heard of it. Is that like Second Helpings? Oh, Muffin Crumbs, I forgot! You haven't been in Berry Bitty City long enough to know what First Frost is. Wow! It's his first First Frost! <laughs> Why, it's just the biggest day ever! Actually, astronomically speaking, it's one of the smallest days, in that it's one of the shortest days due to the sun rising late and setting early. Uh, being winter and all. <sighs> As you were saying. When winter comes, there's a huge special glimmerberry harvest. Everyone carves berry lanterns. And we have a glimmerberry ball. It signifies the first sign of winter time of year. It's tradition. And you give presents. <laughs> oh, no. That's just a fun little custom we girls have. The Berrykins and the Bumblebees and everyone have first for us traditions. Giving presents is ours. Secret presents. We each pick a name of one another and then we secretly give a gift to that person. Without them seeing which of us gave it. Last year, I got a new yellow and pink comforter. And I got a mile-long scarf with sparkles. Leg warmers for dancing on cold days. A beautiful chess set with multiple modeling clay pieces. A retractable step ladder. Oh, Can't wait. Yeah. I'll get this me yeah. too. Well, that sounds wonderful. I think Mr. Longface might be feeling left out. Let's invite him to be part of our secret gifting. That's so sweet. Yes. 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 Let's. Mr. Longface. Would you like to join our gift-giving tradition? Oh, my. I really don't think... Well, you needn't... Please say yes, Mr. Longface. We'd love it if you were part of our little tradition. Well, then, I'd be honored. Yay! <laughs> Great. But could I ask a favor? May we borrow your hat? M my... my hat? Okay. Everyone, drop your name into the hat. You too, Mr. Longface. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> around and around, our names all go. Who gets whose is a secret that no one may know. Oh, I wonder who I got. Me too. Me three. And now for you, Mr. Longface. <laughs> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <laughs> this is going to be the best first brush gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. Ten chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. No, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. It's her gift. Uh, 
shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I going to do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret giftee. Plum! <laughs> She's gonna... So, you know, I just thought and thought about what to give my secret giftee, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me. A plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops, I almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen! I knew that was a good choice for Plum! Oh, nice! A book! Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm... Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know! My secret gifty Orange likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this! <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. Books. 
Oh, hey, thanks, guys. I wonder who that could be. Hello? Is anybody out there? Wow! That's the most incredibly gigantic, enormously splendiferous first frost gift I've ever seen! <gasps> Just what I always wanted! Oh, look at this! And this! Oh, cross-referencing by date of printing! Who would have thought of that? Wait a second. This is the book I gave to Lemon. Didn't she like it? And how did it get back to me? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Secret gift or no secret gift. So, Lemon, um, how about this first frost, huh? It was as first frosty as a first frost can be, I thought. Very thirsty, as a matter of fact. And our presents. Oh, I've already given. Yes, I did. First frost thing in the morning, actually. Really? Wow. Well, um, not me. I haven't given my secret gift yet. So you couldn't be my secret gifty, so you can tell me what you got, because I didn't give it to you. <laughs> right? <laughs> What? I said... What? I said that I got a very big gift, but it wasn't quite right for me, and it was too big to store in the swan, so I gave it to Plum, who has more space in her studio! Plum! Aha! Oh, oh, where are you going? Uh, you haven't been rinsed! Very good. And one, two, three, one, two, three, twirl, two, three, twirl, two, three. So, two, three, um, two, three, did you get your secret gift, two, three? Well, two, three, really? Two, three, I don't have it anymore. Two, three, one, two, three, what? Two, three, I kind of felt my gifty would have more use for it. Two, three, since she's always sorting stuff. Two, three, oh no, I gave it away. <laughs> now you'll know who my secret gifty is. You mean orange? Sorting? Yeah. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't tell. Where are you going? We still have the foxtrot to practice. Oh, it was tense, I'm telling you. I zigzagged past the cafe, ducked into the bushes, sneaked through the gazebo, hid under the bridge, doubled back, and I was there. Nobody ever saw me. And then I carefully set my gift down, knocked on the door, and ran. And what was your gift? Well, it was something I felt my gifty might use to rest her feet on while she's sewing. <gasps> Oops! Oh, I guess I gave away who my gifty was. I don't have a clue, but I have to run. See you later. Wait a minute. So Raspberry got the book from Orange, who got the book from Plum, who got the book from Lemon, who got the book from me. Did Raspberry give the book to me, or did Strawberry? And what about Mr. Longface? Oh, I forgot about Mr. Longface. This is very complicated. I can't believe no one liked my gift. I know I did. Strawberry? Oh. <sighs> don't look, don't look! Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I guess I spoiled your secret. Don't worry, you're not my secret giftee. It's Mr. Longface. But Strawberry, hibiscus makes your nose itch. Achoo! I know, but it's not a gift for me. Mr. Longface has been wanting one for the entrance to his club, and I just knew it would be the perfect gift for him. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. What's the matter, Blueberry? You seem kind of sad. You, um didn't happen to get a big gift that was a big book that you didn't like big time. Excuse me? No one liked my first frost gift. See, I had this book on sorting books that I thought was great, so I gave it to Lemon after wrapping it up all in yellow paper and yellow bow. And then Raspberry gave it to me with blue wrapping paper on it and a blue bow. Unless it was Mr. Longface, but I don't think it was. So no one liked my gift. I'm so sorry, Blueberry. A book is a wonderful gift. That's what I thought. But 
Maybe if it's for Lemon, it should be a book about something she likes. Like watercolor painting or skin care. You know how much Lemon likes those things. Oh. Oh. You're right, Strawberry. I was thinking about what kind of gift I would like, not Lemon. Not very first frost of me. You know, I know a book Lemon would like. I better get it wrapped and give it to her right now. Well, I'm glad that's settled. <laughs> I better get this to Mr. Longface right now. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh... Uh, I already got a secret gift. I know. I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding. Just what I always wanted. That's the perfect first frost gift for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. Isn't this great? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, Raspberry. And look how high you can go, Orange. And those shoes really make you dance even better, Plum. Oh, I can't wait oh, either. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Um, I know that this has been a strange first frost, and I just wanted to apologize for not thinking of my friend Lemon when I gave her a gift. And I want to apologize to Plum. And I want to apologize to Orange. Oh, and I want to apologize to Raspberry. Oh. And I want to apologize to Blueberry. Do you forgive me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know I'll always think about the person I'm going to give a gift to in the future and not myself. Me too! <laughs> now that's what I call a great first frost. Oh, but hey, Strawberry, you never showed us your secret gift. Yeah! yeah. A super-duper apple masher! Just what I always wanted. Mr. Longface must have gotten it for you. And he doesn't even like applesauce. Aw, isn't that sweet? Oh, what a nice gift! And so thoughtful. He gave a gift he knew you needed and would love. Seems like we could learn something from Mr. Longface. Yeah, that's, 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 right. that's right. true. Achoo! Happy first frost, Miss Shortcake. Thank you so much for my apple masher, Mr. Longface. You're very well. But I thought it was a secret. Some gifts are so thoughtful, they can't be kept secret. And what did you get, Mr. Longface? I must admit that I've not received any gift at all. Did I do something wrong? Maybe there was some form I forgot to fill out. Hmm. Maybe you should check your hat and see if your name got accidentally left in there. My hat? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, 
<laughs> this is the best gift I could have gotten. And your smile is the best gift I could have gotten. Happy first frost, everyone. Check. Barbecue. Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barricanville. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Barricans get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> Patty Persimmon in the Case of the Beach Burglar, Part 1. Great! Now, Part 2. Hmm, let's see here, Patty. Ah, there it is. Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. <gasps> Aha! Part three! Too much wine? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thanks, Blueberry. Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> Hey, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <sighs> Psst. Psst. Oh, over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? Huh? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what's, um... That's Raspberry. Oh. M morning, Raspberry. Morning, Plum. <sighs> <sighs> is everything gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no. I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Hello, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Brrr, Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I have... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. 
We all know there's no bigger berry, big bitty star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, berry, breezy bay resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at Berry Breezy Bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Berry Breezy Bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere. Bad weather. Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to... <laughs> oh. Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me. Mavis Maraschino, bringing you a lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra-luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive reclusive Berry Breezy Bay Resort? It's really the happy, home-built, very bitty city resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... Uh, this isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> Breezy Bay may be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry, where's my little superstar? Quick, under here. <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing here? Shh. Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry! Cherry! <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm. This gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that! 
is it. I can't find her. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. <laughs> it worked. Bertram, do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery Cherry Mega Star if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. <laughs> You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. <laughs> Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? God! Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this very breezy bay? Um, but it's not very breezy bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> Huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back. Relax! <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? <sighs> I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our first guest. <laughs> Isn't it... Uh, well, there are no words to describe. Now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well, just think. She'll give our resort a great review. And we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great. Except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to... Leave. Ask her to leave, but... Oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so... unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so... comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea? This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> Crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry Jam. <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Quite a storm, wasn't it? Oh, we have them all the time. Oh, yeah. Along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting, fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. <laughs> a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground, new ground. Uh, Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but... Why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Very Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous passage island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes. Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino. Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island. Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles, are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been upfront and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. challenge? We, we rise, rise to it. it! Couldn't we 
put the umbrellas together with the fabric from the lizard costumes and make a tent? Yay! We'll have our beach party after all. I'll get the pineapple squares. Hey, what do you know? The rain stopped. Quick, before it starts again. <laughs> Papaya. Begin the countdown! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Don't worry. You can do it. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Can bloom. There he is. <laughs> Time for the Berry Fest Spring Festival. <laughs> According to my history and mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition. There has to be a Berryfest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berryfest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berryfest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must... Plant the events! Judge all the flowers! Smell all the flowers! Know all about spring! Not to mention the Wanderberry! And of course, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage! That's for me! How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Ooh, good answer. And uh, 
lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Hmm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Oh, boy, I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but oh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry's so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. Oh, thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh oh. We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm gonna ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There, done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug, after you. Sorry, um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry, I've, I've come, come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey, I was gonna say that! Well... <laughs> Why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in. Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 Oh, what are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? 
Here you go. And you, and you too. Um, Katiebug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> Aren't I the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, very fast princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write, write a speech for my candidate. candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. My candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh no, worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure Orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know, and we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, 
everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> <laughs> Great! How about mine? Wonderful! Huh? Hi, Hi Strawberry. Strawberry! I see you two are... getting along? Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day! <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. 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 So yeah. Yeah. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. we voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> one for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Five plus three, this is kind of going to carry the two, and, uh, Yes? We have a tie! Oh, 
no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a berry fest princess. I'm gonna be in the front of the parade. <laughs> And the Berry Fest Princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Me? But, but. You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest Princess. That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, uh, <laughs> good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh! Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did! <laughs> 